The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, I've been asked to talk a little bit here about the, um, the book by William Garrett, The Thrust Method of Stock Market Cycles. Uh, that book was written at the same time that uh, uh, Jim Hurst wrote his book about the profit magic of stock trend, tax, and timing in the 1972 era, both published by, whoa, wait, was it Simon & Schuster? I believe so. It was one of the major ones. Uh, I don't think it was Simon and Schuster. It's on my desk here. I got so many books on my desk, I probably wouldn't be able to find it. I believe it was Simon and Schuster. It was one of the big ones. All I know, those two books: the Profit Magic, sold for eight dollars and ninety-five cents. The uh, Thrust book cost twenty-nine ninety-five. Twenty-nine ninety-five back in seventy-two, folks, with a, a minimum wage was a dollar seventy-five. It was a lot of money. They only sold 200 of those books, but let me go through the whole story of this. It was a rare book, and uh, I happened to have a copy of it. And uh, what happened was I was in Las Vegas setting up a Forex operation for a gentleman, and one of his customers uh, knew that I had a bunch of old books, and he said, uh, do, you, do you have that book by William Garrett? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, I'll trade you that book for any book that I have. Uh, in my library and I says what do you have and he said well come over and look so I went over and looked there was a book there by uh, son of a gun brain the brain uh, oh, cloud gods have got me uh, under a thunderstorm right now I can't think of it very famous dude uh, during the 20s and 30s and it was a uh, system that Larry William wanted to have and so I traded him a copy of uh, that book and uh, he said okay thank you very much and I went on my way and that book was technical analysis of, uh, you know, really heavy uh, geometry stuff. Remember, folks, this was 1983, and 84, I believe. And so I, have, I hadn't really gotten into wave structure with Bryce Gilmore until 1988 when I met Bryce in Chicago. So I'm in Chicago, and I met Bryce, and uh, we hit it off pretty good. And he ended up coming to uh, Pismo Beach uh, from Chicago and spent uh, about two months with me <laughs> and, uh, and he did that every year for the next five years and uh, he had his wave trader program and he had a bunch of stuff but one night I was going through some old charts and I uh, this uh, popped up and I looked at that and I said gee that looks something that maybe Bryce would be interested in so I took a picture of it over and I got it put on one of those little thermal fax papers and I faxed it over to him in uh, the UK uh, excuse me he was in Australia and uh, I just sent it to him and I said interesting and I put a little question mark so about 1 30 in the morning I get a call and I'm uh, with my main squeeze at the time and uh, I don't remember which one it was there were so many of them I forget uh, it was one of the ladies at the nursing home but I can't remember which one anyway I, I get a call and I hear it's Bryce and so I hey what's up he said hey where did you get this picture and I said it came from a book by William Garrett he said look he said I, I got to have this book now and I said well I tell you what I'll, may, I'll ship it to you tomorrow he said no he said I got to have it now and I said, Bryce, it's 1.30 in the morning. I said, the only place open, you know, is a university print shop. And, uh, and he said, I want it now. He said, look, he said, have I ever asked you for anything? And I said, not yet, but it looks like today's the day. So I got out of bed. I went over to the Cal Poly bookstore, uh, bookshop, and I well, it was their printing department at the university. And I printed out uh, this picture of this uh, book. And I, there was 269 pages, okay? So I had those put on. Remember, this is thermal fax time, folks. This isn't easy fax time. And so I had him ship it to buy, uh, to ship it to him. And then by, let me see, about 8 o'clock the next morning, I'm in the office there in Pismo Beach, and uh, he gives me another call. He said, I got to find out about this this uh, this gentleman. I said, well, I said, uh, he was living in Hawaii. I said, he died. He was a broker at Walston and Company. And uh, he was a good friend of Ross Perot, 
And uh, I said, nobody else know much about him. Uh, I, uh, I know that his wife is alive. And he said, well, let's give her a call. So I called his wife. She was living on Ala Moana Boulevard in a beautiful uh, two-bedroom uh, two apartment overlooking the ocean. And I called her up and she said, well, Vinter, no one's ever interested in my book. And I said, well, tell me a little bit about your husband. And he said, well, he had an account with uh, E.F. Hutton. Then he went to work for Walston and Company. And we had money from the farm that he inherited from his father. But all my husband ever did was study the market. It's, he had all these rare, bo rare books, and I said, I said, where are these rare books? She said, well, we gave them all to the University of Hawaii. And she says, strange, you know. She said, two weeks after we gave them the books, all of the books were stolen. They were taken out, no, never returned. I said, oh, brother, I said, I said, do you have any books from your, from your uh, husband's publication? She says, I have three left. She says, we only sold 200 books. And I said, oh, my goodness. And I said, look, um, I have some more interest. I said, I'll call you back. So I called Bryce, told him what happened. He said, let's have her come over to California and let's talk to her. And I said, OK. So I called her back up. I said, how would you like a trip to California on us? Oh, she said, I'll have a brother in Fresno. I'd love to do that. So she came over and she spent uh, about a day with us. And I ended up buying the rights to the book for $5,000. And uh, But anyway, I want to go through what's happening about this book because this this book was one of the books that changed my life it's so far over my head folks that i'm not i'm not really concerned about all these circles and the numbers i'm i like the fact you see the fibonacci numbers here and stuff like that but this is what makes the cycles move this is really the book about cycles so far far better than the one that uh you know jim hurst wrote and jim was my customer at three for three years when i was at drexel so i know him personally and if he were alive and looked at this book he'd say the same thing but this book had all the stuff that was necessary bryce got so excited about it that after you know we arranged that he was going to meet uh, mrs garrett he came over a few days later we all met and he said this this chart is what i've been looking for my whole life he says because because what it does it takes a square if you can see it starts with a square and the square moves to a circle and the circle moves to an ellipse and he said all of these are related and he said these are the how you square a circle and how the prices move into these time frames now i want you to pay really close attention to this one right here folks because this is what happened in Treasury bonds last night. We've been talking about it all week, but I this forget the numbers over here. Just look at the patterns because we'll look at it a little bit later. But that's what that's what this is really all about. Is went right up to this level, and then we're going to take a look about it. So the other part of this uh, session today, I've got lots of questions. I'm worn out of trading, so I'm not going to probably give any recommendations because I'm, I'm recommendationed out. We had such a good day trading on Wednesday that uh, I'm a little bit a little bit tired. We, we did okay. We made $1,600, which was a good day. However, let's move on here and uh, talk about a few other things that we're going to come up at the break. I want to talk about harmonic numbers, how all, they, all of these things came related to this uh, with my help of Twentyman. And then we're going to talk about the use of trailing stops. And I'll show you what I learned from the years that I worked, the two years I worked at Commodity Corporation. Maybe that'll be a little bit of an idea. And then we'll take a look at some of these other things that we're paying uh, close attention to. So let's uh, be, take a little break here. We come back, we'll get to the second part of this uh, process here, okay? And we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com 
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at this Treasury bonds on a daily chart. You remember when I pointed you to these numbers, expanding numbers that we just looked at on that thrust method? That's basically what that was saying is how the market thrusts and move ups in the same ratios of 127, 127 or 1 1.618. But what's important for what we do is that if it comes in exactly at the 3861% retracement on the daily, like we've done here, the high overnight was 116.07.05. The number is 116.07. We dropped a full handle, a little more than a thousand bucks which you're risking 20 ticks, you've already made your first profit objective. Now your stop would be at break even at 106.02. That's where I sent it out. I sent it out last night when it was trading around 106.02, 106.3, 106.2, 106.3. It stayed there for quite a while and then it sold off a little bit. So that's what you this is what that's all about with that. The reason why that's important, folks, is because I was a floor trader. And uh, remember, when, when I was a floor trader, you had to call your orders in by a broker if you were lucky to have a broker that had a phone desk at the Merck or the Board of Trade, or you had it send by teletype if you were dealing with Dean Witter, E.F. Hutton, um, uh, Merrill Lynch, and stuff like that because they didn't have enough phones to go around, so they had to use you know, teletype in order to send the orders in. That was a big difference. Now, folks, look look what you've got here. You're paying four bucks a side, two bucks a side, sometimes even less, and you, you're instantaneously, you're in the pit. You, you don't have to look at the other side. You don't have to worry about out trades. Instantaneously, you know when the hell you are. I mean, how could you not love that? I mean, I knew I was going to be able to, to be able to beat this game, but I had no idea that the Internet was going to be able to make it so simple for me. Remember back in those days, I mean, we're talking back when I was in We I still had to call those orders in. We didn't have the Internet until, you know, the uh, late 90s. Uh, so this is the big difference. I'm really good at short-term trading because I can see where the order flow is just by looking at, you know, where the orders are coming from. I don't have to, to wait to see phone calls or anything like that. I can see the actual buying and selling, and that's why I only look at the bar charts. That's all I look at. That That's the only thing that I, that I really have uh, – you know, have a lot of, uh, you know, what do I call it, uh, 
faith in. So that's that's why I do that. But that's what I wanted to show you was that particular pattern. All I did with my relationship with, with Bryce was he had this program called the Wave Trader. Okay. I'm gonna show you basically what the Wave Trader did. Now this is this is my chart the, the way that it is. Okay, now the Wave Trader, I'm gonna get this up here. Hopefully I do it right because I haven't done this in a long time. Would do this. Well, I'm gonna have to change this. Now watch, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do. I have to go here. And then I've got to go to Pessimental Patterns, put on the properties, and uh, this is what here's here's what I want to get. Now here's what here's what you have to watch. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Now you see the size of the swings and stuff like this. What I'm going to do now is to get them to change so that we can see a whole lot of others. I might have to do it this way. Uh, I haven't done this in so long. I shouldn't even mess with it. Nah, I can't because I. Uh, what, let me see. Try it this way. Yeah, there you go. There's what I wanted to show you. Now, what this does is it shows you all the swings and all the ratios all the way down. See, uh, 166, and these are out to the 100th decimal point, 157, 2.96, 44, 618, all that stuff. You see, that's what that's doing when it's doing that. Well, that's a little bit too much clutter for a trader, right? So what I have to do is I have to determine which one of these I want to use. Now, as we look at this, we, we're coming in at a 61% retracement of this high right back here, 55% retracement of this high right here, and almost 0.3 exact of this high that is way back there. So this is a big daddy rabbit here. It might not might not go down here, but by golly, this is this is what you. Uh, this is what the fat lady's looking for. Okay, so let's uh, let's keep in mind that that's uh, what you want to be watching. It might get up here to to one sixteen oh seven again. We don't know. That's basically it. Now, what I did, you know, as I as I made, in fact, is just a little while ago, looking down this on a on a smaller time frame. You see, we came down here. We made this a. Remember, this is four minutes, and that's what I use when I'm into day trading. And what I'm doing is I'm interest, I'm watching in these markets go like this. There's your AB leg, there's your CD leg. So I'm, you know, I sold it up here at 02. I covered it at 02. Now it's rallying back. So all I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be selling at the 382 of the way back, and you'll see where that came in right at the good good old price of. Uh, I sold it back at 14, and I put my stop here above 28 so no matter what happens I'm gonna make five hundred dollars today even if I do get stopped but if we end up getting up here today one more time to 07 because that is that's the actual key number we might be all and believe me these numbers are pretty accurate so pay attention uh, you can see 06 07 is the number oh high has been high we might get to 07 now if we close above 07 then eh, maybe it's not gonna work but when you're micromanaging and you're trying to keep your losses small you put your order on when you see the pattern. You go down to your smaller time frames, and that's what you really want to be doing. You know, so that's it. I made 32 ticks on the way back. I'm giving eight of them back. I'm only giving a third of them back. That's not bad trading, at least in my opinion. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. Now, since since we talk here quite a bit about, um, I think that's the things I wanted to cover about the Garrett book. That was the most important thing that uh, someone asked me about. That book, I have it on a PDF file. Uh, if you make a donation, I'll be happy to give it to you. Uh, it's it's for sale on the internet for about $120 hard copy. There's only a few of them uh, that you can get, but if you want it on a, on a PDF file, I have that. And if you make a donation to the, the charity that we use here uh, in Tucson, the Gospel Mission, I'll be more than happy to send. I'd give it to you free, but it, it's not it's it's a book that shouldn't be free because it's got so much good information if you like technical analysis if you don't if you don't like technical analysis for God's sakes don't buy the book there's no stories in there it's all about patterns ratios and numbers and he was heavy into Egyptian stuff so it, that's what it's uh, that's what it's all about so I'm not making a sales pitch for for anything but it was a very good book over this cowboy's head, but you know anything after uh, Dick Tracy and the return of Mr. X, it's a little tough for me. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we look at some of these things. Now let's get over uh, for a second here, and we have another question that someone asked us about, and that is the harmonic numbers. Uh, we've got a break coming up here pretty soon. I tried to get Twentyman today to come on the show, but he's on a bike ride. He's, what, 79 years old, and he's riding his bicycle to San Francisco from San Luis Obispo. 
240 miles. They're doing it in three days, and everybody there is over 70. Uh, in I said, how many think you'll die on the way? And he, he didn't say anything, so he was not too excited. He was not too happy to hear about that. But anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today as we look at so let's double check to see where we are with time we got about 54 seconds left till we get into the next section which i'm going to have some people have asked me questions about the harmonic numbers that i talk about all the time and then also when we have a something going on with the um hello operator what's the other one we want to be talking about the harmonic number oh how to use the volatility stop or trailing stops the way to use trailing stops. I don't use trailing stops because, you know, uh, that's just my, my way of looking at things. Okay, let's take a break here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, someone asked me if I would uh, go through this treasury bond. A situation that we've got going here right now you can see very clearly we have an a leg here a b leg here a c leg here and a d leg up in here somewhere first thing you'd want to do would be to measure low to high okay 
But remember, the number we're looking at up here is 116.07. There it was here at 116.05. So if the market does this right on the close or sometime before the close today, we should make a new high up in this area, which would be between 07 and 10. Okay. So there's the area that you'd want to be selling being 07 and 10 and carry it over the weekend. You have to take a risk. But if you look at this on the daily chart, let's just look. I think it's a daily. Yeah, this is daily. Look what you're selling up against, folks. I mean, give me a break. This is a you're up. You're up one, two, three, four, five, six days in a sitting right at a 61 percent retracement. Hello, operator. I mean, give me that one all day long. You know, I'll take that without any trouble at all. So let's keep in mind, I left all those things on there. I didn't mean to. And basically, I don't use those at all, folks, that I used to, but now I'm so familiar with these numbers. The only way that I use any of these lines is when someone asks me a question about all the different swings. This is what Bryce Gilmore's wave trader did, folks. And it still does, except that he doesn't support it too much because he's very, very ill. And uh, I think he might, but I haven't heard from him in a while. And he's not in a good mood most of the time because uh, the life has turned a little sour on him and he's a little tough. But look, you got a 61, a 50 percent and a 382 coming together right here. Yeah, it could go through there. But chances are it's going to see only here. You had one number here, 382. Here you've got four, one, two, three. And then you've got this right here. So you got four things to tell you this should be pretty strong resistance at this level. Now, whether that's going to be the case or not. I don't really know, but that's uh, that. Oh, what happened here? Shut the front door. That's not good. Oh, I moved the uh, I moved the mouse. All right. Now, here's what we're paying attention to with this one right here. OK, so all I want to do is answer the next question and we're going to do it the same way. First, what we're going to do, the question is about uh, I'm going to do harmonic numbers next. But first, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to clean all this out. Hold on. Clean there. Delete all. OK, let's say you happen to be in the in the. Uh, in this bond market and let's say it's going down like this okay now the ideal place if you're going to put a stop in you watch what the ratios are doing you see each time it goes to make a ratio that one makes 50 percent the next one should be pretty close to making 50 percent off of that one what does it do it goes to the 382 so 382 and 50 percent is what you want to keep doing that and as you do that you see you're building, you're building a nice little trend line. Now, that's not going to be a regular type trend line because, guess what? A regular trend line is going to be like this. And if he draws the trend line like this, okay, that's going to say you're going to be going down all of that time, folks, okay? So here's what we want to be. Okay, okay, anyway, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Shane Smolian just uh, f uh, faxed us some great information, folks. Uh, the planetary index that he watches tops today, and uh, we had some pretty big action going on in these markets today, and we're going to find out. See, this is a, we're having a pretty good rally here in stocks, so well, let's, do, let's do this first. I want to do this about these, about these uh, uh, using stops. Now, the stops that I use are related to risk management, okay? Uh, if I know if I get above the 61% retracement, I got troubles. If I'm doing a 382, if it gets above the 50%, I got troubles. But I risk a dollar amount each time I'm going to do that, and that's what makes it easy for me. Now, what Commodity Corporation did, and this was part of that big system that they sold to uh, – Mr. Uh, Goldman Sachs about 20-some years ago it was the basis of what they do. I think it's very similar to what Larry Fink at BlackRock uses, but I'm not sure. So let's clear all this out. And there's a, there's a system that most uh, things, most uh, systems have. It's called the volatility stop. Now, you see, this is the volatility stop. If a market closes above this, it tells you that you're bullish. Okay, now, here you close above it. Okay, there you close below it. Here you close above it. There you close below it. Now, to use it as a trading system, never tested it before. And I'll just show you what parameters I'm using here. I'm using a volatility stop, which is, I believe, let's get this up here and it'll tell us. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, here it is. It's an eight bar with a 1.6 multiple, which is 1.618 of the range, whatever that number happens to be. But that's what that volatility stop that we have at Ensign has going for it okay now you can see it's not too bad 
it does, you go back and look at it, it stay it gets you to stay with the trend most of the time. Here it gets you out, but goes below here, you're back in it again. Get here you get whipsawed, right? You get short and it goes lower, and then you finally get long back in here. It's not a bad system for, for identifying trend. It's based on the volatility of what's happening to these things. So check it out. You can go in and Google volatility stops, the different multipliers you want to use. Ensign put in a 1.618 multiplier for mine. I don't use it, folks, because I use a dollar risk management based on you know the numbers that I know. If the market exceeds a certain amount, then I know that I'm in – bigger trouble than I want to be in. And I don't like to be in trouble very often. Okay, so let's uh, let's keep that in mind. That's it. Let's just do another one. Let's do, do a stock here that uh, look, we'll just use Apple since everybody likes Apple and everybody owns their products and uh, get the do dollar sign up here for Apple. We're going to have to clear everything out, of course, because we're we're gapped up. You know, we're up, up, uh, up, up and away here. We are still moving higher. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete it all. And there we have it right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the uh, volatility stop. And there it is. Look look at this, how it kept you pretty much long. It never clo well, it closed. Uh, well, th this is closing right on the line. But look how that's pretty good. Shoot, I should maybe take a look at this. But look at this. This is where you looks where it got look where it got you long, and it's been going straight up. This has been a good indicator for it's a hell of a lot better than trend lines. So pay pay attention to it. I think it's a pretty good. One. Please don't email me more information about volatility stop because I don't use it. I helped develop it, but that was 30 years ago, folks. I swear to God, I haven't looked at volatility stop in 10 years, or maybe longer than that. But I did help. You know, Ensign uh, develop it. If you go look at their program, that'll probably tell you any place will show you what the volatility stop is, and you make a you can set your multiplier at one or two, whatever it is. We use 1.618. That's what this whole thing uh, is based about. I hope that gives you some indication. But someone asked about trailing stops. You can't ask for a better trailing stop system than this one, folks. That's Apple. Let's look at a couple other. Oh, we got a break coming up here. See how we're doing with the break. Oh, we got 50 seconds here. We'll do a couple more. Let's do some real wild ones here. Uh, let's look at Tesla. And uh, how about, well, yeah, Tesla's a good one. Let's get it up here. And then we'll look at a couple others on the stock market because I know a lot of these folks are stock-oriented. And you can see how much I use the volatility stop here because it's nothing here. We're going to get this up here and bring it up. And we'll be right back and get rid of everything geometry. And we're going to talk about the volatility stop when we come back up again. Please do not email me about it because I haven't done anything with it in, oh my God, a long time. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights Firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, we're talking about the volatility stop index uh, for trailing stops, and I'm just going to put it up here. I've got it. There it is right here for Tesla. You'll see it gets you long here. You get whipsawed right here. You're long again. You get out. You stay short. Get you long. This is one heck of a system, folks. I mean, it looks really pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, just by eyeballing it, look, it gets you short right there on the close. Get you long there in the close. You're still long. Look, you still, st and it's based on a, a multiplier of 1.618. Now I will bet a nickel to a donut. Let's do one other one, just for the heck of it. Let's pick up one that's been really, uh, really whack. Well, they're all wacko lately. But let's take a look at uh, T. It, which one is Target? TGT is Target, I believe, right? T Target. Yeah, it's been. Oh my goodness, look at this one here. This had one hell of a jump up right here. See, this is still with all the things. It's at the 382 right now, but let's just put in, get rid of this, and uh, we will delete all of that, and we're going to put in the uh, volatile. Uh, delete it all. Hold on. Uh, delete all is what I want. This is what I want. And we'll just put in the volatility stop. Now, you can see here that it hugs pretty good, but look at this. This is pretty nicely. Now, this is based on here. Here, it gets you along here. Look, right there, right before this thing takes off. See, it goes uh, once above the line. What 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 you're supposed to do? This wouldn't have got you long because you had to close above the line. That would have been uh, marginal because the high on the day was 112, and it closed at uh, 111. So that probably you wouldn't have got in on that. But the rest of it is uh, is pretty good. But you can see here it bounces around a little bit. Now I don't know anything about it, but please I. I'm going to try to help you here, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to come up here and go type in volatility stop. Vol, oh, I better learn how to spell it, Larry. Vol, uh, T I L, volatility stop. Okay, and we're going to hit that indicator. Here it is. We'll get it up here like this. Now, this is all, uh, okay, hopefully we're going to be able to find it here because I know you're going to have lots of questions. Uh, here, volatility stop indicator sessions. Okay. Well, anyway, just Google it, and they'll give you all the stuff. The thing is, don't tell anybody shh, that you're using 1.618 because that's the key. If you change the volatility stop uh, parameter, if you come up here like this, I've never been in this doing so long. I'm going to get into trouble doing this, I'm sure. You see how it's 1.6 right here? All right, now you can change it. Now watch how it changes on the on the board here when I change it to two. You see how you change? See how it's changing? As you see it change like that. What we've done is we've just looked at it. Well, I haven't done anything for with it so long. We've kept it at one six one eight. That seems to be the best of any of the ones that we looked at. So that's the end of that story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, basically, if you look at uh, this without, uh, let's get rid of this. Since we're talking about that, we'll delete all. This is a bearish pattern here in Tesla, no matter any way you look at it. 
There's your A, B, C, D pattern right here. You can just draw. I'll just draw it in. Uh, we'll draw it in from the high. There's your A, B, C, D right here. There's X up here. That's a 50% retracement. And you can see here we've got lower tops in here. Just pretty much spot on lower tops. Setting right at the 50% just two days ago. We're doing nothing right now. This is a bearish pattern, folks, in Tesla. There's no... No uh, question about it. If we look at it on the volatility, you're long from right down here. It's got to go below 220 before it's bearish. So right now, uh, not going to be using this volatility thing very much because I don't use it. But some of you is looking for a system. It, take, a, take a look at it. It might have some good things in there for you. Okay, so that's the last one. Now I want to share something from our good man, the Wolf Trader. Hold on a second. I've got to get to Skype a minute. There's what I want to show you. This is his, uh, his, his uh, uh, what do I call this darn thing? Uh, <laughs> it's optimized planetary speed index. And folks, I really believe in this planetary speed index. It's got a really big, uh, really good spot in here. Today is, uh, the day is the 19th, which is Sunday. So this should be Friday, should be the day Friday or Sunday. We should start to go down. This thing has a better than 75 or 80 percent. Look at some of these hits on these things, folks, that uh, tell you that the market's moving. I mean, some of these have been really spot on. Now, we, we had a full moon here on the 13th, which was six, five, four days ago, and nothing happened. So, you know, this didn't have anything to do with this, but this is going to be interesting to see what happens. We're right over something really big. We know what your risk factor is, so pay attention. You don't want to be getting too long up in this area just because of some of these things that we're looking at. I've told you pretty much uh, where you are with uh, some of the things that we're looking at. Okay, the last one that someone asked me about. Hold on one second. Wow, how do I cover all this? Okay, let's go to a half-hour chart. That's where this stuff all all started, okay? There is the half-hour chart for the Treasury bonds, and the person asked about harmonic numbers, okay? Now, I'm just going to give you a bird's-eye view of what it is because, believe me, this has got a lot of work and millions of – well, not millions and – oh, easy millions of iterations in it and so many hours that you don't even want to – even want to think about but a harmonic number is like a bell ringing bong and then the vibrations go out bong 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 and pretty soon uh, mr powell speaks and it goes bong bong and they get bigger and bigger well that's what harmonic number is let me just show you we did this on a mips computer in pismo beach we wore two of those machines out MIPS means million of integers per second. Okay, now that is most probably a harmonic number. The reason why is you'll see that it is an A, B equals C, D, correct? Now, if you see this once, you're going to see it more than once down the road because these things bounce around. Look at this one here. See that move right there? Almost perfect. You go back and look at some others. And all what it does is as the market moves, it starts to vibrate. And it does it by, you know that thing I just sent you with uh, William Hurst? That's, that's what, not Hurst. <laughs> William Garrett. Sorry, Mr. Garrett. He died quite, he died in 1960, so it was a long, long time ago. Uh, excuse me, 1970. Anyway, that's what. 1974 he died not that not 70 not 70s 1974 but that's what harmonic numbers are you want to go back and look at them to see them repeat over and over again see because you don't see it here but it'll come back and it'll repeat itself again and again and you see it repeats itself so what you want to do is you mark that over here like this from 11420 down to 11226 you'll see that that's a point and a half correct all right you cut that in half cut that move in half and you'll just see, put this up. Now, the, the MIPS computer did this for us. You see, this is this is what that, that MIPS means, millions of integers per second. And all it did was it took all of these swings, because they're all interrelated, and it found where they were. Bang, bang, bang. Shouldn't be giving this stuff away for free. Bang, 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 bang. What it's really good for, folks, is this little puppy right here. This is what it's really super good for. You just set that little son of a gun in there like that. And you say, hmm, that's an interesting one. It happens all the time. You know why? That's your maximum risk control. You go over here, 
You put it in right there. That's, that's not the run I want to do. Hold on a second. I'm a little wore out, boys and girls. It's been a rough week. Oh, well, not rough. It's just been fun. Okay. All right. There it tells you that the maximum risk that you take in, in bonds at any one time is one point. 1206, 1203. That's one point in bonds. 32 handles, folks. 32 pips. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we have a guest caller. Michael, how are you doing? Hello. I'm here. How are you doing today, my friend? Uh, Larry, Larry Pesavento, yeah. thanks for taking my call. I know we don't have much time left. Um, looking at next week's uh, setup, we've got NVIDIA's earnings being uh, released Tuesday at 4 p.m. Um, looking at the bear case scenario, say um, it's a pop, then a drop in the after hours. Um, would you stay short the NQs through uh, Thanksgiving Day? Uh, that's a long time, but you know, I will say, listen, I've got the daily chart up here for NASDAQ. It's very interesting. Uh, we have not taken out yesterday's high as of yet in the NASDAQ. We've matched it. We're close to it right now, but we've matched it. And if you look at this on a really short term basis, we'll go down to a 13 minute chart. All we've been able to do 
there's where the high was. Uh, and we see we've matched the high from yesterday. And all we're looking at so far is a very, very shallow uh, retracement. Hasn't even made a 61% retracement yet. So that's what we're paying to. See the high? We matched the high from yesterday. That's a really important sign. Now, if we get above that, we'll just get to this level where it'll complete an ABCD. But I agree with you. Uh, if I had to put a gun to my head, and it's uh, easy, the bullets bounce off. But uh, I would say, uh, let's take a quick look at NVIDIA since you're kind enough to call in. I don't look at charts very often, but we've got just a short period of time here. NVIDIA starts, well, let's get the hourly chart. Should be as bullish as all get out, and it is. You can see here they're expecting a bullish uh, bullish thing. We've come down, and uh, we've already retraced back yesterday's high. We came in to exactly 78% level today. We haven't taken yeah. it out yet, so that's a negative. So I'll tell you what, though, Mike, I wouldn't put 10 cents on any of these uh, programs for going into a report. It isn't worth the effort, buddy. Hey, thanks for joining okay. us. We're, All right. we're out we'll, of time. We'll talk. May God bless. We'll see you on Monday, folks. May God bless. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Uh -huh.